Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a customized submit button in Articulate Storyline 360. And this will also apply to Articulate Storyline 3. So this is the example I have. I have a question, I have true or false, and I have a submit button. But let me show you how I did this. And the first thing I'll do is delete the submit button. So if I preview this slide as we speak, it will have this submit button down the bottom. So it's got, it says submit and it has a tick box. That's the option I've gone for in my player settings, but I don't want this. I want this gone and I want my own submit button in here. Follow these steps to see what to do. So I'll close the preview. The first thing I need to do on this slide, and this is a quiz question slide. It's a, uh, actually a graded question. What I need to do now is go to this cog down the bottom, which is the properties. I need to untick the submit button. And notice when it's ticked, we have this trigger here. If I untick it, the trigger goes. Click OK. I'm just going to preview this to you. You can now see we've got a true or false, but we have no way of actually ticking to say yes. You know, I submit my answer. I'll now create a button. So I'll go to insert, I'll click on button, choose one of these, I'll draw it, click in there and I'll type submit, but you could, you could type whatever you want. You could, you could type okay or accept. Make changes to the color, again, however you want it. I'll leave it like that. And then single click on it and we're going to create a trigger. So create a new trigger and the action is a submit interaction. So what you need to do is just find it from the list down here. So submit interaction, the interaction though no, is true or false. What it is, it's pulling through the interaction type from this page and this is a true or false interaction type. You may have a drop down box here, and if you do, you're only going to have one choice in it anyway. So, when you want to do it, it's when the user clicks on this button here, which is button one, which is the submit button. So, if I ask to now preview this slide, we have a submit button, we don't have any buttons down here, and if I click on this, help with a chosen answer, there we go, it's worked and it would move on to the next slide if I'd had it all set up. Let me show you that again though. So this one here is a multiple choice one. The previous one was true or false. This is multiple choice. Insert button, I'll draw a button. I'll call it submit. Again, you can call it whatever you want. I must remember, and I've forgotten then, I must remember to edit the properties down the bottom here. So click on the cog, remove the submit button from here, click OK. And then on this submit button, create a trigger. And I want it to submit the interaction. And this time here, I have a drop down for it. And I must choose multiple choice, which is what this is. There's nothing else to choose from. When the user clicks on button one, and this is button one, click OK. And that is how you create your own customized submit button in Articulate Storyline. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please like the video, subscribe to the channel for more top tech tips.